All is Fair, Chapter 15 I stayed in Fair City for hours, wandering the streets until the sun came out. It was Sunday in the mortal world, but days of the week don't mean anything to fairies. A day is a day. According to the sun, it was almost seven in the morning when I got to Dr. Bogswamp's office. She opened the door just as I was about to ring the bell. Good morning, Sharon. Are you still a spoiled brat? I smiled, yes, and I always will be. Well, let's see then. Since you're here, open up. Quag Marina retrieved that bottle of foul-smelling liquid from her cabinet as I undid my shirt. What is that stinky stuff, I asked. She snorted and said, dragon piss. I don't know if she was serious or not. I held my breath and waited for the burn. It wasn't as intense as the first time. Looking good, she said. I looked in the mirror and was overcome with excitement. My heart looked healthy and vibrant. No skeleton roll for me. Yay. Nope. I guess the Grim Reapers would have missed out on a new recruit. I'm sure they would have loved to have you. You should probably let Roseanne know. Don't leave that poor woman worrying for no reason. When I got home, I left a message on Dr. Gambling's answering machine. Days of the week do matter in the mortal world, and I knew that she wouldn't be working on a Sunday. I went to bed early just to fantasize about Greg. It didn't seem fair to have to wait a whole year to see him again. But in love and war, all is fair.